<clears throat> feel like a pop star here. Uh, let's imagine for a moment, okay, that one of the most uh, popular film of all time, the movie Titanic. I'm sure everyone in this room has seen it before, except you two children. Um, <laughs> that the movie was released yesterday, okay? Not 20 years ago, yesterday. Now, marketing researchers call movies experiential products, and an interesting feature of these products is that it's very difficult to evaluate prior to consumption. In other words, before I actually go and see the movie, it's very difficult to forecast whether I'll actually enjoy it or not. Luckily, we have other sources of information, like word of mouth. If Bob, somewhere, has seen the movie, I can ask, DiCaprio was in the movie, Inception was kind of good, is Titanic any good? And if I trust his opinion, which I probably won't, I can make a much more informed purchase decision. Now, again, we're imagining that the Titanic was released yesterday. If it was released yesterday and not in the dark ages, we would have access to online word of mouth from three popular websites, such as Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic, and IMDb.com. Well, past marketing research has looked into some of its metrics, for example, star ratings. If the movie Titanic is consistently getting 10 stars, I'm much more likely to infer that the movie is of high quality. But what if I came across a review that gives away that Jack dies at the end of the movie, that the ship hits an iceberg and sinks? As managers of movie studios, say Warner Brothers, should we be concerned that over 20% of total movie reviews are spoilers? Well, uh, spoiler alert, this research shows that spoilers have a positive effect on box office sales. We have over 11,000 spoiler reviews in our data set, and reading each one for me is disgusting. So instead, I apply an artificial intelligence technique called topic modeling, which does this automatically. It views topics as a distribution of words. Think of it like a bell curve, with the commonly used words clustered at the center. For example, the topic of death for the movie Titanic would include words like Jack, freezing, water, rose. We find that an additional word that spoils the movie leads to a 0.3% increase in box office revenue. We argue that spoilers decreases product uncertainty, but at the same time increases the credibility of the online discussion that's taking on on these websites. Now, what's the key takeaway? Well, as a Marvels fan, I, I'm not going to read spoilers regardless. But for managers of movie studios, no need to worry, because spoiler reviews play a positive role in matching the preferences of consumers and their demand and the supply of, market, uh, supply of movies in the marketplace. Thank you very much.